Hey guys, I hope that you're all enjoying your weekend and today we are going to do a quick review about like uh, everything you must know about the Dino Island because they opened the, the event to the region 1 to 50 as you guys know so we are going to try and review everything you have to understand uh, before going to the island and what you have to do so your time on the island uh, like you get the, the best experience as possible uh, but first let's talk a bit about the app gallery so if you guys are interested in primitive era uh, i really recommend that you download the game through the app gallery it's basically like the play store or the apple store and you search for the game you download it and if you're a beginner or maybe you're not a beginner but you just want to use the app gallery because there are a lot of advantages to you having it and this is the first one like when you download the game through their store you can get get this exclusive gift card uh, you just have to click on the claim and you will obtain the fuel breeze uh, wood and some speed up so it's a nice little gift a uh, uh, welcome gift if i must say and the really interesting uh, thing with the app gallery is that they hold giveaways on their official discord uh, every week and for example this week uh, as you can see this is their discord so you will find all the information like the link to join their discord and how to participate in the events so it basically happened on their discord so you just go to the giveaway the giveaway section uh, if you want, you can also watch the influencer videos or whatever. Uh, maybe you're playing some other games and they also have campaigns and stuff like that for the game. So it's really, really nice Discord. Uh, and yeah, about Primitive Era. So this week, let me scroll a bit. This is all the participants for the, for the giveaway. As you can see, people really like it. So to, this week, uh, it's a 15 euros giveaway. So honestly, it's pretty insane. Uh, if you're a free to play player, 15 euros can get you the weekly RVR pack uh, to get figs and 50% increase in points for um I I was doing the math, so yeah. O almost a year actually. So maybe you're a free to play player and you will win this event. Uh this can basically give you the pack for free for almost a year. And this pack is really insane. So all you have to do is explained and it's it's written like, please send a screenshot here and do not reply this message in other channel or in PM. So you basically have to take a screenshot of your chief hole, post it there and two winners will be selected uh, after by the end of uh, yeah on June 26. So if you guys are interested in participating, uh, I participated myself right here. Uh, ju just join the Discord and uh, post uh, a picture of your chief hole, and that's it, guys. You you can you can you can win fifty euros just like that. So pretty cool. But so yeah, if you're interested, all the details down below in the description, or hit me up on Discord, or just join their Discord and ask there. Uh, people will always help you. But for now, let's get back into the Dino Island. And so for the people that just unlocked, if I must say, uh, the Dino Island, the region 1 to 50, uh, you will not have this timer right here. You will have like uh, 20 days or something like that. Uh, it's basically the preview period. So once this is over, the registration period. Oh, yeah, I said it right the first time. <laughs> Yeah, I, I didn't train it, but I, I know that a lot of people uh, laugh when they saw my, my last video and I, I struggle with this, with, this, uh, with this word. So here we go. I got it right this time. So yeah, once this period uh, starts, you will be able to register your clan. Uh, there will be a little button right here. You will just have to click on it and this allows you to recruit players from other region to come into your clan so they can either just join your region because they want to it's like a little migration 
uh, or maybe you want to recruit uh, so you have more people or stuff like that for the island and therefore this allows you to to do it so this uh, this event will be called uh, transregional um, migration no uh, transregional assembly my bad it's called transregional assembly and each clan can recruit um, 30 players top you can't recruit more than that but once you once you join a clan and you're accepted uh you're free to leave it and join another clan so maybe you have a sister clan or a farm clan or whatever you can if if you meet the the requirements and we are going to talk about the requirements a bit later if you meet them you can just register your clan and then anyone can apply to it and leave it and then add to the clan they want and the only thing that you got to pay attention to is that you can only bring a maximum of 200 players to a specific server. So uh, for the regular migration, you can bring a total of 300 players top. Uh, this time it's 200. And the good point, though, is that you don't need any migration token. Um, let's check in my inventory if I have some. Yeah, I have some right here. It doesn't cost or consume uh, any region migration token. So you can you can basically go to an, another server for free, another region. So to register your clan and bring some people over to your region or in your clan, uh, there are a few things that you have to you have to know. And uh, let, yeah, it's right here. So it's available for anyone to see. You just have to click on the information button. But I know that some people don't bother to to look for it or. I don't know, whatever. So the clan must have a minimum of uh, 50 members with at least 50 unique members logging in with the, within the last three days and 35 members unlocking T8 or above warriors to be eligible for season sign up. Note that only Air 4 and uh, Air 4 and 5 can sign up and only Air 5 can cancel the registration and also only Air 5 can uh, accept the players that... Uh, apply to the transregional assembly. Um, what else? Once the clan has successfully oh yeah, once the clan has successfully signed up, all its members will also be automatically automatically registered for the season. Members can leave the clan during the re registration period, but cannot leave on the last day. And yeah, that that's where uh, some of us got tricked um, during the 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 first one uh, for region one two sixteen. But we'll we'll go over it, over it a bit later. So the registration can be cancelled in the registration period, but cannot be cancelled manually on the last day. Uh, Air five can only withdraw from the clan after transferring their position to another member, and if the clan fails to meet, blah 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 blah. Uh, honestly, you can find it in game. Uh, don't hesitate to click and read it all. But I'm gonna sum up for you. So the little trick is that. Registration it lasts seven days, but on the on the last day you can't migrate anymore. So if you're like if you're in a clan and uh, you won't be able to leave it, so if you want to move to another region, uh, you have to do it in the first six day. Okay, uh, past that you're fucked. Another thing, uh, uh, but I made I made a video on the Tristan General Assembly, so uh, I assume that most people are aware of it by now. But if not, maybe you missed it. Uh, the link to the Transrenal uh, Assembly video will be down below in the description. So if you haven't checked it, uh, go ahead. And yeah, the, the thing is, uh, if you move to another region, you won't be able to to come back to your original one once the island is over. Uh, so when you move, you move for good. You're never coming back unless there is another immigration and you want to move at the time. But you're not going to get automatically brought back to your original original region just like uh maybe i don't know i at, at the end of the kill event you go back to your own region <laughs> except when there is bugs and we all know that this happened a lot of time but well whatever so yeah this time you're never coming back unless uh, there is a migration so keep that in mind uh if you want to move and also uh about the oh yeah about the, the troop tier uh, you need 35 members with T8 or above unlocked. Um, it's one troop type. You don't have to have like 
uh, cavalry, infantry, and cavalry, uh, and uh, an archer. My bad. Uh, T8. You only need one of them. So don't start. Don't go and start uh, upgrading all troop types and whatever. Uh, be smart, guys. Focus on one troop type until C10. Uh, I know it's a long shot, but it's it's because it's a long shot that you don't have to to work on too many things. Otherwise, you will just fall behind because the gap between T9 and T10 is just so big. Anyway. Uh, not the subject. Uh, so that's about the registration. If you still have questions after watching the video, maybe I forgot something or whatever, hit me up in the comment as always. I'll be happy to answer or on my Discord. Now, we'll talk about the matchmaking. So this part is a li little bit tricky because once again, it's a four days uh, period, but like the calculation lasts for four days, but... Uh, once the registration period is over, your clan power will be taken into account. And once once they have the number, uh, if if it changes during the four days of matchmaking, it won't be taken into con consideration. So if you want to do something to maybe improve your matchmaking, maybe you have a strategy or whatever, uh, you have to do it by the end of the registration period, okay? A um, uh, little warning, because I can see people having fancy ideas already, and it's. I think it's time for a disclaimer, okay? So, uh, clan power ranking. As you can see, this is my island, okay? The first clan with the highest power has 7G uh, power, so... And the last one, has, uh, it's not G, it's a million. Yeah, okay, so 7 million and the other one has 3 million. So the power doesn't do everything. Uh, it's it's not what will matter the most. And as a matter of fact, if you take PH1, for example, uh, before the island starts, they before the matchmaking, they reduced their power, they removed their statues, they killed a lot of troops to have all their members uh, below 50 million powers and look at look at where they are they they, they they're just where they, be, they they should be of uh, in fact like they are where they they belong like they were supposed to be in this island because they had over our power uh, before the island starts and they thought they were smart they reduced their powers but uh, it's not only based on power. Uh, as a matter of fact, it takes into account are uh, your troop tiers, the amount of troops you have. Yes, that is right. And the power is mainly decided by your troop amount. But this is really not what's the most important in the calculation. And what's more important is like your hero power, your statues power, your chief old level like uh for just to show you guys like everything right here like all these stats they're all t taken into account they they don't just like take the total power like they they used to do uh for the atlantis so your warrior power even though it's the thing that impact the most your total power as you can see it's like 75 percent of my of my power and yet we still got matched uh, against bh1 who reduced a lot their power so all the other things right here have much more impact over the matchmaking than the warrior's power and reducing uh, like removing your statues uh, will not actually drop the statue power and stuff like that so honestly don't try and trick the system because there are some ways to do so, uh, but it's not going to be that important uh, that it will like give you a really unfair matchmaking or rather fair for you, but unfair to the others. So yeah, if you want to try, go ahead, kill your troops, do whatever you want. But yeah, we have live footage right here of, <laughs> of how like the results they basically went from 7g to 3 3.5 and they still got matched up uh against us whatever so uh we talked about that uh so yeah 
if you want to do something about your clan power, do it before the matchmaking period starts. And the other tricky thing is the land picking uh, period. As you can see, it lasts for three days, but yeah, it's 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 a trap. Uh, once matchmaking end, uh, right here at reset, you will be able to pick your land. Be online uh, at reset, or at least if you want a good starting area. Uh, I made a video about the areas. Um, they are important. Uh, it's not what will make you win, like. You, it's it's not like you take one area and you're guaranteed to win. Uh, it helps. It's it's a, ni a nice addition to to the the final results, but it's not going to to make you win. Um, but maybe you have some allies, maybe you have some plan, maybe whatever, uh, and therefore you want to pick an area depending on like your plans, your allies, or whatever. Uh, on my island, we didn't get this chance because it was all buggy. But whatever, if you want to pick the right land, be there at reset and spam click uh, because it first come, first served. All right. So if you want specific area, be there. Now about this, uh, I'll put the link to the area selection advice that I I made. Uh, some people maybe they're. They won't agree to it, but well, that's my opinion. Do whatever you want with it, as always. Then you have the competition period that starts, and we are that's that's where I'm at at the moment. So uh, maybe that's what people want to hear because so far all this it's more about uh, clan organizi organization rather than individual individual organization. So. On your end, if you want to plan for the competition, obviously you want to think about maybe going to another region, another clan, and therefore the registration period is important for you. But if not, uh, and you're not R4 or R5, and therefore you just have to wait for the competition to start. If you want to, to do something good for yourself and start uh, with the, like, as best as you can, what you can do is basically improve your heroes as much as you can. Basically improve your research as much as you can. And if you want to plan for something, you have to plunder a lot. You want to start the island with full storages. So as you can see, uh, my, my resources are already depleted. Like I don't have... All my storage are empty, except for the, the gold, maybe. But it's all empty, and this is empty because we already went through... Uh, what day is it? Five days uh, on the island, and we happen to have a research day and whatever. So I already burnt uh, all of my resources. And the thing is, on the island... Uh, you don't have any farms. You don't have dead uh, cities. Like if you if you want resources, you you have to to have them stored up. You have to have the resource stored up. Uh, as you can see right here, use item. I have a bunch stored up, and this is the only way that you can uh, like keep on growing on the island. Otherwise, like once you're out of resources, the only way to get more is by attacking some other clans on the map. But let me tell you this uh, right now, attacking other people's cities is not the best of the uh, of ideas that you can have. Like basically on regular, like imagine on key, on key event and stuff like that, you can see how much loss you get when you attack cities. It's the same uh, on the island. Uh, maybe it's even worse because you have T11 and stuff like that. So. Generally speaking, uh, you like you can have buffs uh, by holding fortlets and stuff like that. So the gap between powers can be really huge. Uh, another thing as well is that if you attack someone in their own area, their starting area, you got debuffs and stuff like that. So overall, you are very unlikely to attack cities and therefore earn resources through that. So 
you will probably earn resources through pony cares like the the, the weekly event like this but it's not much you will also get resources by opening up rvr chest and stuff like that but overall you're not gonna get much resources so you want to start the island with as many resources as possible and what you want to have a lot as well is teleportation advanced relocation because as you can see on your starting region it doesn't cost a thing but later on you will want to go through maybe the neutral area right here maybe you will want to invade someone right here or maybe maybe you just want to go to the clash area and then it will cost teleportation to move so you want to have a lot of them stored up and you want to have a lot of healing speed up and training speed up as well um, you're mainly going to use the island troops uh, because they are stronger it's t11 or t10 but you're also you're also going to go through your own troops and you want to be able to heal them up you want to be able to speed them up uh, you can see right now because my bad it's not killing events this week but once uh next week we won't have barbarian fastness and we won't have key events either because we are on the island so we will have a second free choice right here and most people will pick uh troop training or maybe gathering or whatever but yeah if, if you want to go to through three days of training because you pick two free choice day with uh, training you're gonna need a, lead, uh, a lot of speed ups or rubies or whatever to open uh, the nine chests. There are a few techniques. Uh, I'm gonna actually do a video on how to to succeed at training uh, troops for three days straight. But yeah, overall you want a lot of speed ups and teleportation and stuff like that. So that's about it. Uh, if you want to plan as be as best as you can. Uh, fulfill uh, your your storage before you go to the island uh, and have as much things as I mentioned if you still have questions guys or uh, maybe you're wondering about a subject or whatever hit me up in the comments or, as I said and if you want to support me uh, don't forget that I have a Patreon uh, I released a few documents uh, for them by the way for the island because uh, there are some stuff that okay maybe I can I can say that as well because I forgot but that's kind of a given. Uh, you also want to start the island with a hundred stamina on all your matches because you will have a lot of things to do uh, when you start and stamina will be a problem. The first few days people will struggle a bit with stamina. Afterward, it gets a it's it gets better. It's not a problem anymore because you know how to organize and and everything uh you like you get the hang of it of the event but then once again stamina becomes a problem again because you're going to fight a lot uh with all other people or maybe not but stamina is kind of an issue in most cases on the island so start with all your stamina otherwise it's gonna be problematic and yeah for the rest, uh, as I said, I have released a few documents to my Patreons. Uh, I plan on releasing it to everyone, as always, because I always do. But they have it a bit in advance, so it's going to be available to anyone later on. But if you if you don't want to wait, feel free to subscribe to my Patreon. A uh, lot of uh, advantages to being a Patreon. And if not, uh, don't hesitate to subscribe to the channel. It costs nothing and... It just cost a click, <laughs> a few seconds. See you guys, and I wish you good luck to uh, on the on the island. I hope that you will enjoy the event and not uh, get out of it uh, mentally broken down <laughs> because it happens. <laughs>